Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Hello everybody and welcome to Bugatti's headquarters in Molsheim, France in 2022. It was exactly 20 years ago that I set foot on the Molsheim premises for the very first time. The atelier was already finished, but a huge empty space. They were just installing the lifters. Today, 20 years later, as CEO of Bugatti Rimats and president of Bugatti Automobile, I'm very proud to celebrate with you a record number of 150 order intakes and 80 deliveries for the year 2021. We have set the path for a promising future through the new shareholder structure and leadership. The Chiron, our second model after the Veyron, is sold out. Both model lines were powered with the iconic 8 liters W16 engine, the technically most advanced powertrain of the first 20 years of this century. Never before in Bugatti's modern history did we offer a wider spectrum of performance. On the one hand, there is the Bugatti Chiron Supersport, Bugatti's ultimate Grand Tourisme with the fastest production car in the world with a top speed limited to 440 km per hour. On the other hand, we have the Chiron Pure Sport, a true pure sound des automobiles, yearning for corners and the most agile modern era Bugatti. The base for this variety was laid by Stefan Winkelmann, who has been Bugatti's president from January 2018 to November 2021. He gave us a lot of new ideas, led us to greater profitability and expanded the dealer network. Under his leadership, Bugatti redefined modern days coach building with the Divo, La Voiture Noire, and the Cento Deci. Through the Cento Deci, he also reintegrated the Compo Galliano era fully into the Bugatti history, a legitimate and highly necessary move as the EB110 in the 1990s definitely set the technological path for the Veyron. I would really like to thank him for that. This diverse portfolio helped to gain a lot of new customers, thus creating a strong base for our future. With around 150 highly skilled technicians, finance, sales, and logistic experts working in Molsheim, Bugatti has become an important regional economic factor, attracting tourism, proudly engaged himself in their regional activities, such as the Bugatti Festival de Molsheim celebrating the anniversary of Ettore Bugatti's birthday on September 15. We are looking back with pride to our achievement of the past 20 years, and especially of those of the last two years, during which we adapted fast to the COVID-19 related challenges and became more and more profitable. We would like to thank everyone supporting us to get where we are today. The entire Bugatti team, our partners, our customers, the media, the authorities, our fans, and the many Bugattisti who helped and help keeping the brand legend alive and beloved. I would like now to ask Hendrik Malinowski to give you a more detailed look on the last year's activities. 2021 was filled with outstanding activities and events that made this year the most successful one in the Marks history. The global launches of the Bugatti Chiron Supersport and the Bolid, of course, helped reinforcing Bugatti's pinnacle position and created a hype. With the showroom openings in Tokyo, Singapore, Riyadh, and Manchester in the new CICD, we were furthermore able to extend our network and to enter key markets for the brand. All this had a major contribution to the monumental achievements this year, leading to the unbelievable amount of 150 order intakes year to date. All production allocations for the Chiron and derivatives have been sold out. The most extreme Bugatti project, Bolid, with a production run of 40 units, has been sold out within two months after its public appearance at the Quail and Pebble Beach in August. Around 63% of the customers in 2021 are new to the brand. And that's even more remarkable as the Bolid was only sold to existing Bugatti owners or multi-owners. The delivery of a Bugatti Scholli is the most anticipated moment in the customer journey and has an effect on the brand's operative results. The 80 vehicles handed over to customers is also a record number that will contribute to this year's financial success. Unique gems left the atelier during the course of 2021. La Voiture Noire in May, the last Divo in July, and the first Chiron Supersport 300 plus in September. Truly memorable moments. Thank you, Hendrik. 
As I said earlier, Bugatti has undergone some profound changes during this year. Changes to set the path for a long-standing and promising future. We have entered into a joint company with one of the most talented innovators and entrepreneurs in Europe. He won numerous awards in electronics competitions already at the age of 17, and thus lives up to our founder, Ettore Bugatti, who registered his first patent also at the same age. Matte Rimaz, the founder of Rimaz Automobili and CEO of the new company Bugatti Rimaz. As some of you may have heard, I'm an absolute car guy, and I have been so since ever I was born. And I'm a huge Bugatti fan. I've been a fan since I saw the Veyron at the Volkswagen Forum in Berlin in 2002. Back then, I could not have believed that there was a car with a 16-cylinder engine, more than 1,000 horsepower, and I went straight into the store and drilled the product experts with questions. Since then, I followed the development of the brand and its products. And I must admit, it has been incredible what Bugatti has achieved within those 16 years, since the first Veyron came out. The level of quality, the design, the performance, and the developments over the years, just wow. So you can imagine how honored and proud I felt when I was approached by Porsche and got asked what I would think of joining the company to create Bugatti Riemanns. And I must admit, at first I thought it was some kind of test or joke. But the further I looked into this, I realized this was one of the rare opportunities in life where everybody has benefits from. I realized how much of a win-win situation it would mean for Porsche, for Volkswagen, for Rimac, for the employees, for Bugatti, and in the end, for the customers. So I decided to take this opportunity seriously and turn it into one of the most successful enterprises in the automotive history of the 21st century. For this, we have created a very lean Bugatti Rimac management board. It consists of Larissa Fleischer, a CFO. She joined us from Porsche. Christophe Piachon, who has a double function since 1st of November as president of Bugatti Automobilis in France and COO of Bugatti Rimac. And he is also bringing the 20 years of experience in Bugatti with him assuring continuation. Then there is Emilio Servo, a CTO, who has a strong automotive background, and myself, a CEO. For me, it is important to keep the hierarchies at the minimum, the processes and decision flow direct and quick. The Bugatti board has also been restructured and now consists of Christoph Piachon as president of Bugatti and Henrik Milanowski as managing director of sales and marketing. I do not want to talk too much about the future plans yet, but I can tell you, you will be astonished. You will be especially astonished by the features which have not yet been seen on any other car, and I am pushing also for a combustion engine. There is a future for combustion engines in Bugatti. But let me say the following. It is absolutely clear that the Bugatti quality and what the brand stands for needs to remain. In fact, it needs to be expanded. The origin must remain, and it is the full commitment of Bugatti Rimac and myself. This is not negotiable. The craftsmanship of Bugatti will definitely continue, and we even plan to improve it. Bugatti's achievements are a strong foundation that we can and will build on. And as I said earlier, I'm a car guy. I know about technology, engines, and I'll not be satisfied with anything less than the very best, with something that will inspire new generations. Thank you, Mate. A truly appealing future for Bugatti you are committing to. And I must say, from all what I have seen so far, I'm confident that we will achieve all the goals we have set ourselves. Now I would like to wish everyone a wonderful 2022. Bugatti will do everything in its power to make it another amazing and remarkable year. Vive la marque!